Oldinga on the significant achievement witnessed by our relations in the recent years, especially since my last visit to Dar es Salaam in August 2017. The efforts to promote cooperation in the fields of economy and development between the two countries received special attention in our talks today. On my part, I have emphasized Egypt's support of Tanzanian development plans for the progress and prosperity of the sisterly United Republic of Tanzania. I have also stressed Egypt's readiness to share the Egyptian experience, provide the technical support, and contribute to the capacity building of the Tanzanian national cadre via the training courses offered by several Egyptian authorities, most notably the Egyptian Agency of Partnership for Development. We also agreed on the optimal use of our capabilities to serve the interests of both countries through increasing the rates of trade exchange, which we hope will achieve further growth in the years to come. Thus matching the outstanding political relations between the two countries, we moreover probed mechanisms to increase the Egyptian investments in Tanzania and ways to facilitate the works of Egypt companies that wish to access the Tanzanian market. There has been a growing interest of the Egyptian business community in the recent years to invest in the Tanzanian market, considering the success stories of the Egyptian companies currently present in Tanzania. This is the best evidence of the ongoing momentum of our bilateral relations and the huge potential that we can unlock to strengthen our two countries' cooperation. Along the same lines, I would like to stress our full support to carry out the construction project of Judas Nereri Dam to ensure the best execution and construction standards so that this dam becomes a leading model and a symbol of cooperation friendship between Egypt and Tanzania, as well as the rest of the sisterly African countries. The completion of this national project will fulfill the hopes and aspirations of the brotherly people of the Tanzania for a better life. It is also an embodiment of the Egyptian support of the Nile Basin countries' rights to best utilize the water resources without impacting the rights and endowments of other countries. We have uh, exchanged views on a number of current regional and international issues of shared interest. We have also reviewed the developments of the Renaissance Dam being an existential issue affecting the lives of millions of Egyptians. I stressed the necessity to reach a legal binding agreement to regulate the filling and operation of the dam based on the rules of the International Law and Relevant Security Council conclusions away from any unilateral approach which seeks to impose a fait accompli. Mm. Your Excellency President Samia Hassan, meeting with you today gives me a great pleasure. It reflects the convergence of the two countries' views on many issues. I look forward to a further and a closer cooperation between our two countries to serve our mutual interest and that of the African continent. I wish the sister, sisterly United Republic of Tanzania prosperity and stability. Once again, I welcome you and the accompanying delegation to your second home, Egypt. Thank you. See, Abdel Fatal sees my brother President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, honorable ministers of our two countries here present, government officials from our two countries, distinguished members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. As you can see, much has been said by my brother, His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Aziz. I therefore will be very brief because in my culture, the guest is not supposed to speak much after the host has spoken. 
At the outset, I wish to thank Your Excellency for the cordial invitation to your great country. I also wish to note with gratitude the warm welcome and gracious hospitality accorded to me and my entire delegation since we arrived in this beautiful city of Cairo. Thank you very much. I've been to Egypt in the past, but this is my first visit in Egypt since I took over the, <clears throat> as the president of the United Republic of Tanzania. And I can say without a flick of an eyelid that the Egypt I knew by then is not the Egypt I'm witnessing today. Congratulations. The progress and milestone reached is a worthwhile lesson for my country. Excellencies, not long ago, my brother, His Excellency President Al-Sisi, and I have discussed on bilateral, regional, continental, and global issues of mutual concern and interest, interest including diplomatic, economic, political, and social relations. Progress on the construction of the Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station and um, the need of enhancing cooperation in trade.